So I recently hit 2000 subs. By recently, I mean today. So thank you very much for everyone who subscribed. And I was thinking about what should I do to show you what that actually means for me as a content creator. I create these Gumroad brushes, as you probably know. I've been doing that since uh, about a year now. Uh, the YouTube channel is just a little over a year old as well. And I've created about 13 different brushes to date. I give them out for free and for every single one I usually do a video that actually shows you how to use the brush uh, and also often how to create the brush as well. So I give them out for free but you do have the option when you click on one and you go to download it of typing in zero to get it for free or you know putting in your own number if you decide you want to donate something to me. So there are several generous people who, who actually do donate um, more than I had expected to be brutally honest. Uh, it's not an awful lot, but it does help and it's very motivating when you see it. So I'm very, very grateful to those people for doing that. Uh, just to give you an idea of what that actually looks like, if I go into analytics here, you can see if I look at the all time analytics here, um, over the course of a year and five weeks from January 2020 to February 21, I've made $130 on this kind of thing. Most of that comes from Gumroad or YouTube. They're, these are the, the main referrers for this. Uh, and you can see that it, it, you know there's lean months and better months and, and poorer months kind of thing. As far as how, they, how these are actually distributed and uh, where the sales come from, uh, most of them are coming from the cloth folds brush, which seems to be the most popular, followed by the chains brush and the thick rope, uh, and then the stitches. So. To be honest, they're probably the brushes I personally find most useful as well, along with the knot brushes. So the knot brushes, this is something slightly interesting in this and in that the knot brushes between the IMM curve version of it and just the IMM version of it, you basically have about 450 downloads. But the actual 3D scene with the Z-Sphere that you can modify to modify the knot to your own needs is only 39 downloads. So it looks like people are more interested in getting the final version than the one that they can modify themselves, which I thought was interesting. The other useful ones for me are the armor trim and leather trim, but they don't seem to be particularly popular. So this is a good to know <laughs> uh, samurai stitches, which I would have thought would be a lot less needed uh, by people. It seems to be more popular than those two, which is again, surprising to me. But yeah, so that's my little 2000 subscribers behind the scenes sneak peek at what goes on you can see that i'm not doing this for the money uh, there's absolutely <laughs> it's it's not worth the amount of hours that i put into it to, to do that and this is purely just extra money that people decide to give me which i'm really really grateful for because it does actually motivate you to continue making more of them so thanks very much for everyone who has done that and keep on watching the channel i'll be making more brushes in the future all right cheers bye